Hi my dear friends, this recipe is dedicated to all the fish and chips lovers out there, so let's get started. I'm not gonna lie, this tastes exactly the one you get from Chippy, but the chips I didn't oil fry it, I actually oven baked it, so it's up to you how you want to cook them. So, to make the chips I have taken two large potatoes, I know there's three in my chopping board right now, but while I was cutting I realized I only need two, so I take in two large potatoes, peel them and cut them like lengthwise. So because this is kind of like a really chunky potatoes, while I cut them lengthwise, I kind of like cross cut them as well to make sure it's not like really thick. So when I cook them, it doesn't get all mushy. So as you can see, I literally cut them lengthwise and I'm just like cross cutting it right now and this gave me a beautiful kind of like even pieces chips so you can call them hand cut chips those who are watching from america bear with me in england we call them chips i know you call them fries but we'll get there so i'm gonna wash this thoroughly in some cold water to release all that extra starch and i'm gonna drain them and put it into a hot boiling water i'm gonna season it with a bit of salt and while that's cooking i'm gonna get my batter ready for the yummy fish so all the known alcoholic friends i am sorry but this does contain beer so i have used a newcastle brown ale so to make the batter i'm gonna add half a cup of rice flour to that i'm gonna add one cup of self-raising flour just gonna use like this method just to make sure that I get rid of any lumps so I get like really smooth batter so to this I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder and salt added around like a half a teaspoon I'm gonna mix this really well before I add the cold beer make sure your beer is like really cold so place it in the fridge before you use it and gradually add and mix really well trust me it does feel quite stiff when you start mixing it but then it will you know start to become really smooth so you're gonna mix this until you get like a really smooth consistency but it's not too watery at the same time it's not too thick so now the potatoes are cooked really well so i'm just gonna put this in the oven to oven bake for 20 minutes i just wanted to make like a little bit healthy so i wouldn't feel full guilty eating this that's the reason i oven baked it but you can oil fry it doesn't matter so here I have used some beautiful cod, so I make sure there's like no bones in them because you don't want to eat your fish and chips and you get like a bone stick into your <laughs> mouth. So I literally taken all the bones out, added some salt and some pepper. So I'm just gonna, you know, dip this into some plain flour and just gonna shake off the excess flour and dip it back into the batter. And carefully place it into the hot oil so i'm just gonna cook this for around five to seven minutes so after around like two minutes i turned uh, the fish just to make sure it cooks evenly and it turns out super super crispy outside and really soft inside so it was yummy so i really hope you like this recipe and if you are a fish and chips lover and can't go out to the chippy right now due to the lockdown, so please try this recipe at home and let me know your feedback. I'll see you again with a yummy recipe soon. Till then, bye bye. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you really like this video, share it with your friends and family too. Bye, dear friends.